Iran, previously reliant on imported military technology, has become a global leader in the production of drones and missiles. Its indigenous development program, launched in response to the Iran-Iraq war, has resulted in advanced ballistic missiles and an expanding drone fleet, redefining the rules of military engagement in the region. Iran, a nation previously reliant on imported military technology, has transformed into a global leader in the production of drones and missiles. This shift is a significant departure from the pre-Islamic revolution era and is the result of an indigenous development program embarked on in response to the challenges faced during the Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s. Iran's journey in missile development began in the mid-1980s. The nation initially imported and reverse-engineered older models before advancing to design and produce its own variants. The Shahab and Zeltzal missile families were among the initial developments, followed by the medium-range Shahab-3 missile, which had a range of 2,000 kilometers. However, despite its deterrent capabilities, Iran continued to improve its missile technology. Subsequent models featured enhancements in solid propellant propulsion, accuracy, and maneuverability. The 2010s saw the introduction of new variants based on the FATA-110 short-range missile, which gradually increased in range and became more mobile, easier to launch, and more difficult for enemy defense systems to intercept. Iran's drone fleet, including combat drones and loitering munitions, has also expanded. This expansion has compensated for Iran's aviation limitations and allowed it to target hostile positions with comparable range and intensity at a better cost efficiency. This arsenal has redefined the rules of military engagement in the region. However, these advancements have not gone unnoticed. The U.S. Department of the Treasury has imposed sanctions on a network of suppliers, facilitating Iran's development of ballistic missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The targeted entities, spanning Iran and Hong Kong, have been identified as covert procurement fronts for individuals actively supporting Iran's military organizations, including the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC. The U.S. is showing resolve to counter Iran's destabilizing activities and to prevent the proliferation of advanced weaponry to rogue actors and terrorist groups. As Iran continues to rely less on imported aviation and more on its own missile and drone capabilities, it is repositioning itself uniquely in the military technology sector. This shift is a testament to their resilience and innovation, and a clear indication of the changing dynamics in the region. Meanwhile, head of the International Affairs Department of Iran's Defense Ministry has hailed the country's advanced technology used to manufacture weapons, saying Iranian arms are today perceived as a game-changer in the international arena. Second Brigadier General Hamza Kalandari said the world was surprised by Iranian weapons after the lifting of a 13-year UN arms embargo in October 2020. A country that had problems in all areas and was prohibited from any technology has today reached a place on the edge of technology, with its weapons described in international media as a game-changer he told Erna. This fact led many countries to buy Iranian weapons or renovate and rebuild their own defense equipment, using Iranian technology and equipment, following the removal of the embargo.
Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Iranian officials have made clear that the country will never bow to pressure to scale down its military programs, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense. Last year, head of the International Affairs Department of Iran's Defense Ministry has hailed the country's advanced technology used to manufacture weapons, saying Iranian arms are today perceived as a game-changer in the international arena. Second Brigadier General Hamza Kalandari said the world was surprised by Iranian weapons after the lifting of a 13-year UN arms embargo in October 2020. A country that had problems in all areas and was prohibited from any technology has today reached a place on the edge of technology, with its weapons described in international media as a game-changer, he told Erna. This fact led many countries to buy Iranian weapons or renovate and rebuild their own defense equipment, using Iranian technology and equipment, following the removal of the embargo. Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient.